Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Tuesday, the 6th of March. Usually I make a video just looking at one particular stock from our scanner results each day. Today I want to look at three stocks or longs on the weekly time frame and, and how to start set up and building your watch list from our scan results. So um, in our members area, our members can click on potential longs, they click on the image for today and they can download the spreadsheet. So let's have a quick look at the spreadsheet for potential longs on the weekly time frame. So after this recent uh, corrective state that we find ourselves in the market, this, this list of potential longs on the weeklies are setting up now. So we've got quite a few there. So I've picked three off here. So we'll look at the charts and see whereabouts they are because the, the scanners pick these up nice and early and we can start building our watch list from these scan results. So let's have a look at the charts. So for these example, so for these examples, I'm using um, the Ninja Trader Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com. We also provide it for Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and Multi Charts. So the first thing we need to look at here is the we have specific filters on the membership for the scanners. Uh, one of them down here, this oscillator is a 535 oscillator, and we're looking for these pullbacks between 90 and 140%, which this one is. This is CGNX on the weekly. We also look for stochastics in the oversold zone for, for longs. And our wave four, the wave four has pulled back into our probability pullback zones. And we've got our automatic target zone up here in blue. So as you can see at the moment, this is relatively quite new. It's got this early. There's no entry strategy yet because we're right at these wave four lows right now. So we just, again, we, we've got to start building our watch list and start building a picture here. We've got to see now, this is, this is a weekly bars. So we've got a long time to go here on this one. But first of all, 535, stochastics looking good. The wave four is, seems to be finding support. Last week's low hasn't been broken this week so far. We're looking for consolidation and then we're starting to look to move up. And then in the coming weeks, if that does happen, we will see opportunities to start to look for an entry outside our 6-4 moving average high, this um, green moving average here. But at this moment, we need to start moving away. So let's have a look at another example here that we can start building our watch list with. And this is DAN on the weekly. Similar sort of picture. The the 535 oscillator just pulled back inside the 90. The stochastic hasn't crossed over yet, um, but we've got this wave fall that's pulled back so far. This week has formed a slightly new low. So when uh, this week candle close, the wave fall will be reprinted under here. But so far, this does seem to be finding support in our amber zone, which is our there's an 80% probability that's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our target zone here. So still early days. We've got to look for movement and we've got to break above this indecision green doji here. So we're not going to be looking to enter this one until we at least over $29. Uh, we could see this a few weeks from now. The 6.4 moving average low will start to move down and we will look for an entry above $29 in the next few weeks on DAN. So let's look at one that's a little bit more advanced that's been on the scanner for a little while. And this was our stock swing trading um, idea of the week. So we've had this low down here. And then we've started to move up a nice bullish trend. Now we've had the wave four pullback, found support a few weeks ago in the amber zone. It tipped into the red zone and then came back up. Um, we've got uh, the support level here for previous support and resistance. So that's where our stop loss is just underneath the wave four there. And our entry is at 5078. So what we've done here is this has found support and started to move away. So we're in our sort of second week now moving away. We're just trying to get outside of this um, channel here. Once we break through and close that, we're looking good. But also I have to look at previous price actions as well. We want to make sure, especially with these volatile markets, that we are getting above certain sort of resistance levels. And this is why I wanted to get above 
all of these resistance levels here where the cursor is. So 5078 entry for EXAS on the weekly is a sensible entry. Still gives us a great risk reward into our target zone here, which is automated on our software. Um, so looking good. Uh, so these are three potential stocks, CGNX, DAN and EXAS all on weekly time frames just to show you that our stock signals membership can be used to build start to build watch list for your portfolio for longer term swings on the weekly time frame so that's it for today have a great training day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow